dozens of white blobs like this one were found washed ashore in Newfoundland and it created international headlines, leaving many people scratching their heads wondering what it was. Well, a couple of scientists at Memorial University might have an answer. With a hypothesis, with a theory, it's often very difficult to completely prove it. It's more easy to disprove something. The mystery began in September when blobs made landfall in Placentia Bay. It was a significant amount. That didn't go down to somebody's kitchen sink or anything like that. Much like the substance appearing on beaches, the story started popping up all over the world. The BBC, CBS News, the New York Times. It also caught Hillary Corlett's attention. Any of the larger samples that I picked up, they actually had impressions, very detailed impressions of algae in them, very detailed impressions of pebbles. If I tried to remove a piece of algae, it would not come loose. It was just fully embedded in there. Corlett and her colleagues tried to solve what made up the mysterious white blobs. We thought maybe it was latex. They smelled really man-made. Once I got to the point where I realized they were probably man-made, I look at natural material, or natural materials, um, so I thought I can't analyze this in, in any of my labs. Right, so I'll open the sash a little bit more. So she turned to chemist Chris Kozak. Started a battery of tests and got my graduate student team involved and they all loved it. They tried to dissolve it, burn it, dry it out. It's synthetic, it's man-made, it's not natural, there is no nitrogen or sulfur in it. What I've nailed it down to is a polyvinyl acetate, which is PVA. You might have heard of PVA glue, which is the white Elmer's glue. The scientists can only guess how it washed ashore. It might have been an industrial adhesive or something like that at one point, and it ended up in the ocean, either fell off a ship or someone was doing some adhesive work uh, industrially nearby, and it ended up in the ocean, a very large amount of it. The scientists are sticking to what it is, now it's up to fisheries and oceans to figure out why it's rolling in. I think that's up to DFO and other uh, organizations to have a look at where this could come from, but I recommend they look at uh, large uh, uses of adhesive industrially in the region. You're used to seeing things that you know you recognize, and if you see something you don't recognize, I think that can be quite disturbing. So I'm, I hope that this helps give some answers to, to people who live around that area.